A city known for its appealing quirkiness, Portland, Oregon has a history of racial division. In May, an ugly reminder, the stabbing murder of two men on a train by a white supremacist after they stood up to defend a pair of teenage girls, one wearing a hijab. Though overt acts of racial violence are relatively rare, many within Portland's growing immigrant community say discrimination has long been commonplace. Crossing Africa House 102nd to Irko is like you're crossing a war zone. You don't know when uh, somebody's going to throw egg at you or somebody's going to uh, insult you. Chadian native Jimmy Dogo, director of the Immigrant and Refugee Community Organization's Africa House, has lived in Oregon for nearly two decades. To this day, he and his family have endured acts of racism, including an incident just this year while eating at a Taco Bell restaurant with his three children. While we are uh, dining there, a white guy in his 70s just walked to us. He said, you know what, what I like about black people is when they smile, they, you see a white thing in their face and you just walk away. As the city has slowly become less white, extreme divisions have surfaced during the process, says criminologist Randy Blazak. It's really sort of the ripping off of a scab. I mean, there's, there's a wound that's been there for a very long time and it heals a little bit and then an incident like this comes along and sort of rips it off and we're reminded of all this anger and pain that's always been there. Francisco Aguirre, an immigrant from El Salvador, has lived in Portland for 21 years. He says that as a result of Portland's increasing diversity, Racism has evolved, but not disappeared. On the train, in the bus, you would notice people looking at you weird because there weren't many Latinos in the area. There were more white people than Latinos when I first came to the city. And little by little, it has gone down. But what happens is that it's just hidden, because racism in Portland continues to exist. In the aftermath of the May train stabbings, opposing rallies in Portland allowed residents to reflect on the topic of racism but their solutions reveal deep differences. We're conditioned, we live in privilege. Our privilege oppresses people of color, uh, and we need to be aware of how complicit we have been. Portland native Debbie Sluter, a pro-Trump supporter, thinks a lack of communication is to blame. I think that's what's making me sad, that until now, it wasn't that way, but now all of a sudden, it seems like, well, the whole country is divided, and we want to see it get back together again where people are working together. Back up, everybody! Ramon Taylor, VOA News, Portland.